doesn't work. It, the word come down from up above, don't stop and help your buddy. We'll take care of that. Well, we wouldn't pay no attention to that. And one man was it. We went, we took care of him, and then went on. We taken Dressy's wound, and then went on. Unless he wasn't hit bad, you know. But uh, they were, they were, they were, and they were shrewd night fighters. The Imperial Marines was. They, mm -hmm. they sneak, they sneak in on you, boy. They sneak in on you if you. Uh, if you fell asleep, you didn't wake up. You know, and there was guys that did that. They, there was two in a foxhole, what little foxhole you had, but uh, they was two together, and one was supposed to stay awake while the other slept, and then they vice the person. Sometimes they both fell asleep, well, they never woke up. They, they snuck in on them and they took care of them. And that, uh, that happened quite a lot. Uh, the new recruits come in and they, uh, see, they didn't understand. They didn't understand. It to, uh, you had to stay awake. You couldn't sleep. Well, they had the same thing over in Europe. You had to stay awake. Mm -hmm. Now, your, your experience is that, that you had to go through while you were over there. I'm, and, and I know, I read, I read the history books, and, you know, just reading history books, but you know, death had to be pretty much all around you, you everywhere. You, had, you, you actually... You actually was on your own with your buddy. You had a team. You had a you had a Browning Automatic. We call it the bar man. It's a Browning Automatic, mm -hmm. and the rifle man stays with him to help him. And another rifle man and the, and the, and the corporal would be in that section. They stayed together. They you knew what they did. If they went, you knew. It. See, and uh, they, that helped each other. You helped each other that way. If one was down, the other would pick right up. If that bar man got hit, that guy was helping him, picked up that Browning automatic and took off. And them Japanese was a scared of that Browning automatic. That was a terrific weapon, terrific weapon. You, you could shoot 20 times without even stopping. Well, that, that was a terrific weapon. And you could, uh, we, we, uh, they'd give you tripods for it like you got there. Mm -hmm. but, but the minute we hit shore, we threw that sucker away. I mean, you, you couldn't stand up with a uh, set up there with that thing. You had to, you had to carry it in your hands. And you, we just threw the pile. We just threw it away. Now, when, when the, when the first flag raising happened on you, on Suribachi, whereabouts were you when the first flag went up? First flag was, uh, was about uh, oh, 50 yards away. 50 yards away? Down. See, that was a hill. Mm -hmm. That was going up. And the, and the first flag that went up was just a little flag. And uh, the ones that brought that up, there was two of them out of the four that put that up there, got killed. They got killed putting that flag up there. And somebody, another Marine jumped in and took it on up. And then, of course, they brought in picture takers and everything else that put up a big flag there. That's what they sold bonds with, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, the, the, the original flag was just a small flag. But can you see, can you imagine a Marine carrying a big pole, a flag pole up, that, up there with a rifle in his hands? He couldn't do that. No, he couldn't do that. And, uh, but uh, they they set it up the first time, and, and I uh, I didn't get to see it, but I hear this uh, flags of our fathers, and they tell me that uh, they showed more of the people that was up there and set that flag up, the the, the old one, the the new flag. They took them all over the country promoting. Money, and they they say they showed a lot of a, a lot of that. I haven't seen it myself. I don't. I don't think I want to even see it. Uh, they can't show me anything I didn't see over there. They can't. They really. I don't think they can anyway. I. Uh, and it would bring back memories. It would bring back a lot of memories. Now, the best guy I ever had. Uh, that uh, fact is, he took me under his wing. 
lived in Lyons, Illinois. Leroy Schultz. And when we made our move on Guam, I mean on Iwo, we, uh, we had to break a, the fourth division loose. We had to get some, get them moving. And when we started in there, he uh, he jumped in the foxhole and somebody seen him and they put a shell right in there and blew him apart. Best guy I've ever seen. And he's, he's, his forearm is the biggest one up there. <laughs> he, he could kill you. But you know, 